¡Ay! ¡Ah! ¡Ay! 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 ¡No, no, no! ¡Stop, stop, stop! ¡Stop! ¡I, I, I understand! ¡I understand! ¡Sorry! ¡I am very sorry! ¿Ok? ¡No more! ¡Ah! ¡No more! I, I said I'm sorry, Wargaming. I'm honestly very sorry about my yesterday's video where I covered Kanon and Yakpanzer and where I called that tank the worst tank in this game. Uh, as this a tier 8 premium tank, uh, it's uh, very bad, right? Yeah, it, it, is it bad? Yeah, yeah, it is very bad. I am not going to do that again. I'm like, never ever, even though, as I said in my yesterday's video, that was the worst, by far the worst gaming experience I have had trying to third mark that vehicle. And Konon uh, and Panzer, the bad one, 90mm version, is the only tank in this game with 45% overall win ratio. There are no other vehicles which uh, win as few battles. But I understand, I am never going to do that again because, guys. They watched the video, they saw, and right away, the very next day, I got punished. So, this battle, what you are watching right now, is part of my new record session, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm very happy it happened during the stream, actually. Every single battle was on the stream as well, live stream, and all the viewers basically were like, what the heck is going on right now? Because I, um, I uh, broke my old record. I do not even remember what my old record was, but anyway... Right now, my I just got my longest losing streak I can remember. I lost 12 battles in a row in World of Tanks. 12 battles in a row, right? That's that's quite an achievement, uh, to be fair with you guys. And uh, the overall streak, like one, one, one session, one streak was 17 battles and 2 wins. So basically I had like 2 free losses, then I won one battle, then the mega streak happened, 12 losses, then I won another one, and then like 3, 4 other losses on the top of that. But uh, quite a crazy streak, ladies and gentlemen. 12 losses in a row, and um, this battle is just uh, one battle which is part of that crazy 2 to 17, or 2 wins in 17 battles uh, a streak. And uh, it actually opened up uh, a video idea. This is why I am over here in front of you. And uh, many people said, uh, it's my usual, it's my usual day, you know, it's my usual day, like every single day I'm getting the same streaks. Well, uh, to be fair, ladies and gentlemen, that's a straight out lie, because uh, no one has uh, under... 10% win ratio. There is not uh, a single player who has under 10% win ratio overall, overall in this game, right? Because even AFK bots have roughly 45% or 44% win ratio in this game. You know, if you are a bot or if you are AFK in every single battle, you have like over 44% uh, win ratio. Basically, you win every other game. Overall, after thousands of battles. So, that's a straight out lie, but... Still, those type of sessions, those type of ridiculous streaks happen. Why? How? Nobody knows, right? Nobody knows. Like, okay, I know why it happened to me, because, you know, my previous episode was about Kanon and Yakpanzer, and uh, I said how horrible that tank was, or how horrible the gun handling was. It has some good things, it has its own fan base, once again, I understand. People may like it, I totally respect it, I totally understand it, you may love it. I hate so many other tanks uh, which people love, and I love some uh, tanks which uh, so many people hate, right? But, um, why it happens? So many one set of battles. This one... This battle, what you're watching actually, was one of the most interesting, one of the most, um, how to say, equal battles in the uh, entire streak. Most of the battles were decided in the first couple of minutes and were literally unsavable. You could be the best player in this game and then uh, you could add like 5000 extra WNA to it in this game, you are not able to carry those type of games because we have reloads, we have town times, we have RNG, you know, you are simply not able to keep up with the enemy firepower or with the firepower output the enemy team can, or with the firepower the enemy team can output, you know, sorry, London is not my first language, but I believe you understand. Uh, some battles are simply unwinnable, it doesn't matter how good or bad player you are, because you have town times where you are not able to do anything, and when there are 10 enemies charging towards you, well, good luck, right? 
Many of those battles were those type of one-sided battles. 1 to 15, we had a couple 1 to 15 battles, 2 to 15 battles, 3, 4, 5, 6 to 15 battles, and uh, this is what we have seen more and more lately. Battles being faster, battles being one-sided, uh, people call them weekend teams. In my opinion, teams are always the same, it just, uh, it just you know, sometimes depends into what type of streak you are going to get yourself into. So, let's talk about fast battles and one-sided battles after this situation, because it actually is quite a nice intro talking about the next topic. So, I'm fighting with T28 over here, I am willingly, knowingly going to take this trade, I know I want to take this guy out right over here, because he's going to spot us, he's going to do all the things, and just like that, in under 20 seconds from full HP down to no hit points and I'm out of this game. While I thought I have everything under control, I took calculated risk backing up into D28 to take that trade, to take one shot from that guy, to knock him completely out from the game. I knew artillery may hit me, but I was behind a hill. Maybe art is going to miss. If not, well, hopefully I'm able to survive, what not. But suddenly... Perfect timing as soon as I back up, as soon as I take out D28, CS53 pops out from nowhere, absolutely nowhere, puts one shot into me while bumping, jumping up and down, and second shot was fast enough to take me out, reload was fast enough to take me out, and I'm enjoying this view right over here. Destroyed Scorpion, ladies and gentlemen. And this was, I would say, the most equal battle in the entire session of the fast losses. So talking about fast losses, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a little discussion in the comment section. What do you think why that is? I have a couple, um, I have a couple ideas myself, you know, going, going back to the very old times, you know, very old times we didn't have, well, we definitely had those fast one-sided battles as well, like, Every single battle could have been fast, right? But not super often. It didn't seem to be that often. When they started introducing more and more high alpha damage guns, maybe that affected them. What do you think about that? Autoloaders might be another reason. High tier autoloaders. More and more autoloaders who are able to take out vehicles with one clip. Auto reloaders might be another reason. High tier artillery, accurate, fast firing, free artists per game, might be. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about that? Corridor maps. Corridor maps, all this helps actually for snowbally games. Right here. Premium ammunition as we remember, was not available for uh, credits uh, very back in the days. When I started uh, to playing this game, for example, uh, premium ammunition was, or the second ammunition type was uh, available for gold. You had to pay like 10 gold per pop, something like that. Uh, 7, 10, 15 gold per pop, depends on the vehicle, depended on the caliber, depended on the tier, and so on, so on. But when they made premium ammunition available for credits, maybe this is affecting the results as well. How fast battles are. What do you think about that? And um, in my opinion, undeniably, one of the reason is uh, one of the latest additions into this game. Wheeled vehicles. Wheeled vehicles undeniably. You can love them, you can hate them, but you cannot deny the fact that they made battles faster. Why? What I mean by that? Before wheeled vehicles, uh, especially in the high tiers, I'm talking about tier 10, tier 9, you know, tier 8 premium tank. We didn't have any tanks in this game that could have been able to spot the entire enemy team. Or could have been able to spot all the flanks, like, if not even the entire enemy team, who were able to spot all the flanks in the first 30 to 45 seconds in the game. And your team after wheeled vehicles, for the first time ever, has a complete overview. Who is going where? 
how many tanks are going to the left flank how many tanks are going to the right flank or let's take this um, you know the muramanka battle we played uh, before who goes to the forest who goes to the uh, middle of the map maybe some yolo guys who goes to the left good players are all are always able to use this information and react to it because let's say player base in a nutshell is the same has been the same all the time but all this extra information all those extra things help you know above average players who are able to use the high alpha damage guns auto loaders auto reloaders wheel vehicles extra information premium ammunition for credits Good players do that all the time, you know, they use uh, full premium rounds, they bounce less shots because of that. And overall, we have the, I would say, the average player base uh, knowledge about the game has to be better than it was uh, five years ago, six years ago. Because we have, uh, think about that, we have so much more content out here. So many good Twitch streamers who are playing this game uh, every day for a living. Uh, so many videos on YouTube, so many uh, content creators. Uh, uh, every single tank basically comes out with uh, many different content creators making review episodes about tanks, uh, how to play it how not to play it, uh, map guides, uh, overall guides, how to be a better player, and so on, so on, so on. All those things combined, players just play better, they do less mistakes, they are more aggressive as well, and all those things combined lead into fast battles, into one set of battles, and there is nothing we can do. Wheeled vehicles, high alpha guns, autoloaders, auto reloaders, artillery premium ammo for credits credit boosters so many credit boosters christmas event credits are flowing in all the time like if one server is able to spend over one trillion credits for black market on a tank what credit problem are we talking about over here corridor map and all the other things snowball situations all those things lead into one-sided fast wins. If one side, it seems to be the case, if one side starts to win, takes early lead, yes, I have seen comebacks, yes, I have been part of comebacks, I have been able to come back in like many many battles, but it is definitely less, it happens less often, it is more rare than it used to be. Because you are winning, people are playing more aggressively, it's harder to defend, pushing in, you know, you get the point, snowball starts rolling faster and faster and boom, just like that, battle is over, 2 to 15, 3 to 15, this is what I saw in that session as well, and this is what I wanted to talk about today. So, as I said, let's have a little discussion in the comment section, what do you think is the problem, matchmaking? Um, like matchmaking, yeah, but how do you balance this matchmaking? How do you balance that type of matchmaking? Tanks, uh, tanks many times, it doesn't matter, you know. Yes, sometimes it matters. Uh, one side has OP tanks, you know, 270Es, uh, chieftains and so on. But sometimes those teams get completely face stomped. I have seen so many, let's say, uh, 279E, chieftain and 907 in one team, in one platoon. And I have seen that team getting face stomped completely. They didn't even have a chance. So sometimes even that does not matter. But what does? All the other things what I mentioned before? Or maybe you have some more ideas. Please let me know your ideas in the comment section down below. I honestly would like to have a little discussion going on over there. Share your thoughts. Share your ideas. How to fix it. Even maybe matchmaker. You know. Just let me know. This was my today's video I wanted to talk about and uh, after that uh, quite a solid record uh, losing streak session I wasn't even mad, not for a single battle I was mad during that session. It was curious to see how far it was going because I tried in every single battle. Yeah, anyway, I thank you very much for tuning in and I catch you next time with something else. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been awesome as always, stay awesome. Stay sexy, stay naked, take care, and bye.